It's easy peasy, lemon squeezy To say how much Jesus loves me It's easy peasy, lemon squeezy To say how much Jesus loves me He said let the little children come, come on to me He sat one down upon his knee It's easy peasy, lemon squeezy To see how much Jesus loves me Oh yeah to see how much Jesus loves me He loves me He loves you He even loves grown-ups too He loves me He loves you Hello How are you this week? I've just been planting some of my seedlings I've been growing different kinds of lettuce and I'm hoping that they're going to grow nice and big ready for some salad they're just like those seeds that we planted the other week to make cress our mustard seeds we made the pot remember and then we put the seeds in but today i'm using soil and i wanted just to show you my garden i've got a couple of plants especially this beautiful red rose a friend of mine Alison and her husband Mark gave me that plant a long time ago and I put it in my garden and it continues to grow. It's lovely, isn't it? And God created that plant for me to enjoy, for us to enjoy. And I'm really pleased because I can remember the story behind it. So I can remember my friends, Alison and Mark, even when I can't see them at the moment. It's wonderful, isn't it? I've got another plant over here. Do you want to come? Come on, there's more. Here we go. That big, tall pink one. Have you guessed? I like red. I like red. My, my waistcoat. That's from my, our mum's garden. Beautiful, isn't it? And it right, reminds me of summer and holidays. But it reminds me of our mum too. I really like the fact that some of my plants remind me of different things but remind me of people I love too as well as my seeds that are going to grow into lovely salad really enjoy the way the plants and the flowers that God created for us do different things in our lives have you noticed it's a bit windy and, and rainy today but it's still quite warm so the, the plants and my seeds will continue growing. I'm just hoping my cameraman doesn't fall over as he's walking backwards. He's doing very well. Anyway, it's wonderful that God created all these things for us, isn't it? To enjoy, to look at, to make the air nice and clean for us to breathe or to eat. I've even got one on my table today. That I bought so it looks pretty in my house. Isn't it nice that God takes care of everything, every little bit of our lives, even when we're sitting in our lounge, we can look at things and remind us that God loves us because he's made things for us and provided things for us. Now I've got a story today. It's about a man with an orchard. Orchard, a tree's that fruit grow on. And this one is about apples. So it's an apple orchard. The story's about the man and his two sons. Let's see what it has to say. Well, oh, I've got dirt down my nails from digging in that soil. Just see if I can get rid of it. Oh, never mind. I'll wash my hands later. Here is a man. He grows apples in an orchard. There are the apples on the trees. The apples are red and rosy. It's time for them to be picked. Oh, one's fallen on his head. At home, the man has two sons. I want you to help me pick the apples, says the man to his first son. No, says the first son. I'm busy. There he is, making an aeroplane. But after a while, he's sorry for what he's said and he picks up a basket and goes into the orchard. The man finds his second son. I want you to help me pick the apples too, he says. Yes, 
says the second son. I will come as soon as I've put my boots on. There he is with no shoes on. Back in the orchard, the first son is busy picking the apples. Look, he's already picked a basket full. Well done, son, says the man. Here's another basket. We'll have this done in no time. They work together until the apples have been picked, but there is no sign of the second son. He has forgotten his promise. Oh dear. Who do you think pleased his father? The first son or the second son? Hmm. Jesus says what we do is more important than what we say. There we go. There's our story for today. Should we sing a song? Let's sing our Jesus Loves Me. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak but he is strong. Na 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 Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Sing about his love, about his love, sing about, sing about his love, about his love, sing. Sing about his love, about his love, sing about, sing about his love, about his love, sing. Na 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 Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Isn't that great? Should we have our special prayers? I can hear Teddy. What was that? What did you want to pray for today? Oh, he wants to say thank you for rosy red apples and to thank God for the rain as well. But we won't be able to play out the same though today, will we, Teddy? He says it doesn't matter because the plants will grow really well because they're being watered. I'll have to water my plants in my pot with a watering can as well. And we'll put them in the sun when the sun comes out again. So let's say our thank you prayers as well as our usual special prayers. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for today. Thank you for the rain that makes our plants grow. Thank you for the sun that makes them grow too. And thank you, Father, for rosy red apples to eat. Lord Jesus, we pray that you be with everyone this week. Help them to be safe and enjoy time at home and time going out and walks and playing in the gardens and exploring our world. Thank you, Father, for being our special friend. Amen. See you next time. <laughs>